More than 6 billion people worldwide consume milk and milk products, making up roughly 75% of the global population. In the United States alone, an astonishing 100 billion liters of milk are produced annually. Have you ever considered what goes into producing the milk you pour into your cereal each morning? Here's a look at the journey of milk from dairy farms to your breakfast table. The process begins on dairy farms, where cows are specifically raised for milk production. These cows are kept in clean, well-maintained environments. Farmers put significant effort into ensuring their cows are stress-free, as stress can adversely affect milk production. Typically, dairy cows are milked two to three times a day using milking machines. The average cow produces between 25 and 35 liters of milk daily. Milking machines are designed to be gentle and efficient, safeguarding the cow's well-being. Modern farms often use rotary parlors, accommodating 20 to 80 cows at a time. The raw milk flows through stainless steel or glass pipes into a refrigerated bulk milk tank, where it is cooled to around 4 degrees Celsius. After milking, a refrigerated bulk tank truck collects the milk from various dairy farms and delivers it to processing facilities. Before pumping the milk from each farm's tank, the driver collects a sample, checks the flavor and temperature, and records the volume. Given that milk is highly perishable, dairy farms and processing facilities are typically located near each other. At the milk processing plant, the milk is weighed and pumped into refrigerated tanks via flexible stainless steel or plastic hoses. The cold raw milk then passes through either a clarifier or a separator. A clarifier removes debris some bacteria, and any sediment present in the raw milk, while a separator performs the same tasks, but also separates milk fat from the lighter milk to produce cream and skim milk. Some plants use a standardizer clarifier to regulate milk fat content by removing only the excess fat, which is then processed into cream or butter. Fortification is the next step, where specific minerals and vitamins are added to enhance the milk's nutritional content. This process typically involves adding vitamins A and D using a peristaltic pump that automatically dispenses the correct amount of vitamin concentrate into the milk flow. The milk, whether whole, skim, or standardized, then undergoes pasteurization to kill any harmful bacteria. This process, discovered by Louis Pasteur, involves heating the milk to a high temperature for a short time. The most common method known as the high temperature short time, HTST process, heats milk to 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. Different milk products require varying times and temperatures. If the temperature falls below the standard, a sensor diverts the milk back for reprocessing. In raw milk, fat content is present as globules that can rise to the surface, causing cream separation. To prevent this, milk is homogenized to reduce the size of these fat particles ensuring even distribution throughout the milk. During homogenization, hot milk from the pasteurizer is pressurized to 2,500 to 3,000 psi, 17,200 to 20,700 kPa, by a multiple cylinder piston pump and forced through small passages in an adjustable valve. This process breaks down the fat particles to the proper size. The milk is then quickly cooled to four degrees Celsius to preserve its taste. For powdered milk production, an additional step occurs before packaging. The milk is first concentrated by evaporating a significant percentage of its water content. The concentrated milk is then fed into a spray dryer, transforming it into powdered milk. This process involves atomizing the concentrated liquid into small droplets, which are introduced into a drying chamber with hot air. As the water in the droplets evaporates, the remaining milk solids form dry particles which are collected as powder. The processed milk is packaged into various containers, such as cartons, bottles, or jars. For instance, one of the first glass milk bottles was patented in 1884 by Dr. Henry Thatcher. Packaging is conducted under strict hygiene standards to prevent contamination. Throughout the production process, rigorous quality control measures are in place, including testing for bacterial contamination, verifying proper pasteurization, and ensuring the milk meets regulatory standards. To be classified as grade A milk, which accounts for about 90% of U.S. milk production, the product must meet stringent standards. 
Milk that doesn't meet these criteria is classified as grade B and can only be used in the production of certain cheeses that undergo further processing. The gold standard for sanitary conditions is certified milk, which is sold at a higher price than grade A milk. To maintain sanitary conditions, the inner surfaces of processing equipment and piping systems are cleaned daily. Almost all equipment and piping in processing plants and farms are made from stainless steel. Highly automated clean-in-place, CIP systems are incorporated into this equipment, allowing solvents to be run through the system and then flushed clean between normal milk influxes from the farms. Once packaged, the milk is distributed to retailers through a cold chain to maintain freshness. Refrigerated trucks transport the milk, ensuring it remains at the appropriate temperature. The milk is then delivered to retail outlets where customers can purchase it for consumption. Commercially produced milk is available in various forms, including whole milk, skim milk, 2% milk, and specialty products like flavored or lactose-free milk. From its humble beginnings on dairy farms to the aisles of grocery stores, milk undergoes a complex and meticulous production process to ensure it reaches you in its freshest form.